Look who's here! Lani! Akane! I'm so glad you're safe! Thank goodness! Thank goodness! Akane! Forgive me, Lani. I can't imagine what you've been through. You're okay? Mm-hmm. Mr. Kosaka rescued me. <gasps> Thank you, Ichiban. Eh, just keeping my word. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well done. You saved the day, Kasuga. Kiryu-san, I made you a promise. Oh, hey! Lani-chan wants to say hi, I bet. Feel like talking to her? No. Not yet, at least. Lani still isn't out of the woods, sorry to say. I won't breathe easy until then. You're right. Malikana's still infesting the whole town. Hawaii's not safe for us. Not with them around. Lani could get taken again. I see. Kasuga. Are Akane-san and Lani ready to come to Japan? For the both of them, Japan will be much more secure. Yeah, no doubt about it. Problem is, we're not sure we can use the airports anymore. The Daidoji faction safe house was bugged by Aichan, so they must know all our plans. That private jet of theirs is too vulnerable. In fact, I bet Bryce is drooling over the chance to sabotage it. That could be. But Lani needs to get out of there somehow, before they close in. Time's not on our side. Okay. I'll find a way, I promise. Thanks. I think we got most of that. Hawaiian vacation's over. The question is how we leave. Ichiban's right. Planes are a no-go. What about ships, then? Can we hop a cruise to Japan? Any method of travel with other passengers or crew would be a risk. Maybe the Fujinomiya could charter us another private jet or something. Not an option. It's what they call an impasse. Not your concern. What, are you kicking us out? You're so cold to me, Tomizawa-kun. Would it thaw your heart if I said I could get you to Japan? Uh, really? Does this strike you as the appropriate time to mock us? Don't mean mug me, son. You still think I can't be trusted? Fine. Good luck to you all. Stop. I want to hear your plan. Shh. Come on, Ichiban. Tomi, I get why this is hard for you. But Yamai's helped us a lot already. Can we please just hear him out? I guess so. Okay, then. How do you plan to get us back to Japan, Yamai? Simple. I got a boat of my own. I'll give you a ride. Your boat? Yeah, pretty little tugboat. We took it as collateral for a loan once. Never had much cause to use it before. Which means old Bryce don't know about it. That is somewhat promising. Hawaii is 6,000 kilometers from Japan, though. A tugboat can't make that trip. But it can get you off the mainland. After that, you fly home courtesy of Japan's Coast Guard. It's already arranged. The Coast Guard? Oh, wait a sec, what's already arranged? This all seems way too easy. I don't have to explain myself. It's an offer, and you can take it or leave it. This is some kind of trick that's really fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> What do you say, Kasuga? It sounds perfect. Doubt I know you'd say that. You're a credulous man. What am I gonna do? We haven't got anything better. Kiryu-san said it already. Time's not our friend. Besides... Besides what? Like it or not, you earned my trust. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty alike. Huh? You and me, we're both willing to carry the load for someone, right? You half-wit. 
If I thought we were alike, I'd eat a bullet. All right, okay, point made. But our answer's still yes. We good? Hmm. We leave tomorrow morning. Make sure you're all ready to go. Thanks. So, everybody in? Seriously? What's the point of asking now? <laughs> For real? I've got to get packed. Who knows how long I'll be away? The complaints aside, we're together on this, yeah? Yamai still creeps me out, but Ichiban knows I'll follow. Oh yeah, we've been through so much by now. What's one more bad idea? Exactly. As I said, you have the most reliable allies, no? Oh yeah! Hey. Okay. What's that? Apologies for the wait. Bryce will know something's up by now. Let's get going. Boss, be careful out there. We'll be praying for your safe return. Keep your goddamn voices down, and don't die before I'm back. Boss, good luck! <sighs> Boss! Ichiban! I wish you well! Uh, tell me? Are you serious? Why aren't you in the boat? Because! This is my home! What am I doing going to Japan? Wait, isn't your father Japanese? You never wanted to see the homeland? I, I think about it sometimes, maybe, but it's still a foreign country. Don't think about that right now, okay? It's dangerous. We need you with us. Thinking about things, Tomi. Oh, okay, okay. If you guys really insist, I've got no choice. <laughs> it's obvious you just wanted to make us beg, you know. <laughs> Admit it. The nervous homebody act is pretty cute. I'll stuff you in a suitcase next time. <sighs> We're pretty far out here. Yeah, that's the idea. Hopefully we can reach the Japan Coast Guard unseen. I'd hold that thought. Cavalry's coming. Huh? <sighs> Dwight! <sighs> Stubborn bastard. <sighs> Hit the brakes! Stay inside. You might. Look after them. Better make it quick. We shouldn't linger. These are feeding grounds. Feeding grounds? My advice? Stay clear of the water. I don't follow, but okay. 
Let's go! You weren't planning on leaving, were you? Not even a goodbye, Kasuga? <laughs> Far as I'm concerned, you and I already said our goodbyes, and then some. Dwight, Dick, where do you get off showing up here? Need I remind you, I've still got you a little glamour shot. <laughs> Tommy's hour. <laughs> that was it, huh? You folks don't understand loose ends. A real man never leaves things hanging. I should have stuck that machete into your heart. Huh. Hawaii might have thanked you. Ever since I came here, I've taken everything by force and never left nothing half done. Real impressive. Sounds like we need to teach you how to tell when it's time to quit. <laughs> you couldn't teach me shit on your best day. <laughs> Besides, Take a look at all the men I still got! Oh! 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 Shark? Don't tell me. The feeding grounds? Look around. More coming. No! No way. <laughs> Interesting turn of events, I'd say. Guess you fucks are gonna be chum twice over. Barracuda and shark feet both. He still wants to go? Give it a rest, dude. Keep an eye on those sharks. If they get a hold, that'll be it. Damn thing jumped aboard! Watch it, Tommy! Don't get too close! Show me what you got!
Are you getting scared? Going in! Over, pal. Now what? Gonna beg Bryce for forgiveness? <laughs> Funny how easily you say his name. That man has no forgiveness in him. Not for me, or for you. I get that Polycana's big in Hawaii and everything. Still, though, you talk about him like he really is some kind of prophet. And you haven't got a clue. To you, Bryce must seem like some kind of small-time con man, leeching off true believers. So, that sounds about right. Polycana has more power than you could ever imagine. The Sage, he's more monster than he is a man. What? <laughs> You'll see for yourself before it's all over. Like they say, believe. And you shall be saved. Mm. Too late for me. I've let him down too often. <laughs> All of Hawaii will burn before long! <laughs> I hear the slopes of Switzerland are beautiful this time of the year! <laughs> what a jerk! Throws his own people to the sharks. Quiet. Keep watching. Am I? Sharks have a peculiar way of looking at the world, you know. Most just hunt by scent. But if they happen to catch something casting a bright light at sea... All that flashy jewelry of his sure did shine real pretty at night. He goddamn draped himself with dinner bells. There, the man who would be king ends his sorry life as shark shit. People come swarming to paradise trying to suck it dry. But no matter how tough they are, there's still nothing to an island's natural guardians. How's that for a moral? 
Well now, those natural guardians gave you a pass this time. Maybe they appreciate the help. So... You gonna hang on to that picture of his? Yeah, not for long. Let the dead rest in peace. You pissed, ain't. We actually made it. This is Japanese soil, right? Yep. Official air base of the Japan Coast Guard. We're really home. Ah. So this is Japan. It's pretty dreary, to be honest. Are you serious? Past the airport, at least. It's very curious. Yamai procuring this route so conveniently. You got a point. Uh, hey. <laughs> huh? Wait a second. Hi there, Adachi-san. And you, Ichiban Kasuga. Been a while. I see. This must be lying. Date-san? Mako-chan! the hell are you doing here? Hmm. Yamai didn't fill you both in? Hey, Yamai. Let's get this over with, Inspector. You're talking Yamai, I presume. But to put a face to the name. I'm with Division One, Makoto Date. Yeah, that's me. So you're Date-san, huh? Mm-hmm. Didn't believe my ears when I got your call. Yutaka Yamai, you confessed to the murder of Shuji Tabata? Yep. I'm the one who offed Tabata. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Can we slow down? Somebody want to explain what's happening? This isn't exactly information for the public. I suppose you all hardly qualify as that. Yamai was once Tojo clan, serving in the Tabata family. You're aware of that? Yeah. He killed his patriarch and fled the country, right? You already know that much. This will be quick. Following that, Yamai spent nearly the next three decades overseas, until just recently calling to give himself up after all this time. In fact, he asked for me by name. You what? Always heard you were a decent enough guy for a detective. Spare me, would you? Murder or not, 30 years is an eternity. The file was collecting dust. When the call first came in, I almost brushed it off as a prank and hung up. Then, he started describing details on this case most cops aren't even old enough to remember. So I knew, it really must be am I after all this time. He gave us one condition for surrender. That the police assist in discreetly bringing a small party into the country alongside him. But we had no reason to agree. America has a long-standing extradition treaty with us. Bringing in Yamai through the proper channels would be simple. Of course, when I told him we refused his condition, he insisted it was non-negotiable. <sighs> At that point, I considered forgetting the call entirely. <sighs> but maybe I'm a fool for a last chance on a cold case. I have an acquaintance of the Coast Guard I was able to work something out with. <sighs> Haven't had to bow my head so much in a long time. Uh, seriously? You really turned yourself in on a murder charge to get us all into Japan safely? Tell me, Sawako. Don't give me them fucking eyes. I'm just an old criminal, tired of hiding. Yeah, maybe so, but still, I just... I can't believe that... Imagine my surprise when he told me who the party was. <sighs> well, that pretty much covers it. <sighs> Yamai, I'm placing you under arrest. Come along. Hmm? Detective, all these years and you never learned not to trust killers? Huh? Oh! <laughs> 
Yamai! Sir, are you okay? Get after Yamai, damn it! Whoa, hold on! Tomi? I can get him to come back. Just give me a little time, please. Excuse me? I know he's a fugitive. But believe me, that man does not run away from responsibility. I should know better than anyone being his goddamn errand boy. There has to be something going on. <sighs> Stop it! You might can deal with this himself. We're so close to getting home. Indeed. Our priority here is Akane-san and Lani's protection, not his. Date-san, let us get him back. He brought us all this way. I'm not going to leave him on his own. Ichiban! Chichan, Junki, you're right. But after this, if we don't calm the situation down ourselves, they'll start a brand new manhunt. I owe Yamai too much for that. I'm sorry, but I can't abandon him. Ah, <sighs> oh, Ichiban. Screw this! Move aside! Wait! Date-san? Kiryu you filled me in on all the details. This girl, Lonnie, he's been risking his life to bring her to safety. <sighs> Is Yamai really more important to you than coming through for him? They're both important. You can't make me choose just one. I don't need reminding. He entrusted me with Akane-san and Lani. No one else. We'll split into two groups. Let me handle Yamai. He isn't brought back soon. My superiors may consider you his accomplices. Understand? Yeah. Loud and clear. Uh-huh. Hmm. Those eyes. They're the kind that look for trouble. Just the same as his. Adachi-san, I barely know Kasuga, and the other one even less. You're the person I'm betting on. Am I making a mistake here? Nope. Mako-chan, one thing I can guarantee you, they're a good bet. Adachi-san. You've always been too trusting. You're one to talk. Hey, Kasuga. Sir. Yamai could have run off to a lot of places, but I checked with Yui Tabata myself. That name? Yamai was in love with her, right? That's right. If Yamai regrets anything he had to leave behind, I imagine that it's her. Thank you so much! You, is there a toilet around here? Stomach's been acting up all morning. The toilet, sir? Ugh. Bubbling like a cauldron down there. This will take an hour or two, I'll bet. But wait, Date-san! Mako-chan just gave us a two-hour time limit. We better move fast. Uh, uh, Date-san, thank you for having our back. <laughs> I gotta come through sometimes, too, you know. Jungi, can Akane-san and Lani stay with you? May I expect your swift return? But where are we gonna look? If Yamai's after Yui Tabata, then he's headed to Kamrocho as the crow flies. Whatever's left of the Tabata family, will be hanging around there. Got it! Let's hurry! Okay. <clears throat> Adachi san. Yeah. Oh, 
この前の Pardonnez-moi. So. Okay. Up. 
Mm-hmm. Gasga. Sup? Go. Yeah.
It's been a long time, matriarch. Who's there? You're mine. Yo. Took you a while. You eat Tabata. That's her? You're mine. What did you come here for? If you knew I'd be here, you obviously did your research, no? Revenge? On an old lady in the hospital? Even for you, that's some selfish shit. You fell in love with her and killed her husband over it. I'd say you got your revenge a long time ago. You're right. I've got no excuses. Aw, oh, come on. Look me in my face. You gonna let me get away with that? You know something? You're a hard man to please, Tomizawa-kun. Alzheimer's disease. Woman's only 57. That's too old to be called early onset. But still too young. She doesn't even know who I am. <sighs> Thirty years ago, she had everything a woman could want. She'd go on million yen shopping sprees. Order champagne towers every night. We would bleed kill to make that money and she tossed it away like paper and I loved her for it I shouldn't have but I just fell further and further seems uncharacteristic for you tolerating all that maybe it's the uncharacteristic things about us that make us human boss was willing to look past all her faults Except, having another man in the picture, and of all the men she could have, she chose his captain. The boss was always gonna find out. That's when she finally noticed this big dumb lummox. She could tell at a glance I was crazy about her. She got me alone. She whispered to me. The boss ever finds out about me and him, I'm dead. You have to kill him for me. Kids are stupid. Growing up is learning that jobs like that have no happy endings. But you did it anyway. I thought it was my only chance. I remember saying, anything for you. Who was that 20-year-old boy who used to think like that? The matriarch had a plan for it all. That night, I'd accompany her to the boss's office so she could talk to him. She would tell him about the captain. He would hit her. And I would kill him to save her from his rage. And she'd protect me from the police and the family. A good deal. So we went through with it. The moment she saw he was done breathing, she ripped her clothes and ran. Yamai killed the boss and came after me, she said. What the hell? She set you up? Picture perfect frame job. Huh. I have to hand it to her. The best Yakuza couldn't have done it better. <clears throat> Had to go on the run after that. I only got to see her one more time. The dirt had just settled on the boss's tomb, but she and that captain were living happy and openly. Hi. Huh? You know, I think that was the moment I started getting shivers. My blood's run cold ever since. Made up my mind to flee the country then. I wanted to forget it all. That's really how it happened. You'll call whether or not you believe me. If it all went down like you said, why were you just 
staring at her when we came. If you wanted revenge, we'd have been too late to stop you. I thought that's what I was coming here for. And then I saw her. Is it already time for breakfast? Now, there's nothing romantic left to this. My whole life, she was always far beyond my reach. Hmm? <sighs> okay. Story time's over. I can imagine we've got somewhere to be. Afraid that's true. We've been here too long, listening to all this. <laughs> Turns out I was right about you. Huh? Like it or not, you are the type to carry the load for someone. Oh, do you ever shut up? I can't get over this. Never thought I'd hear you say so much about yourself. <laughs> Me neither. Maybe after all this time, I had to let it out. Just to you guys. Wow. Right. Let's not keep the detective waiting. I'm heading back. Pardon? Could you turn the heat up in here? I'm very cold. Feels good. Thank you so much. Anything for you. You all right? Yeah. 